Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new Swinna Vegas tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you guys this like really like requested a lot how to make a square face cam, how to make a round face cam, it's really simple I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so I would say let's get started Okay guys, so as you guys can see we landed on Sony Vegas and first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag in a picture of a Minecraft video it's like just the screenshot so it looks that it that we have the game open so it's lo it looks like you guys have like a better look like how, like how it's it's gonna look when you have like a different shape of uh, face cam and like how it's gonna look when you have like no like no like rectangle like standard or a square but like round or something so I'm just gonna drag in a Minecraft picture and let's pretend that it, that's just like a Minecraft footage game that you guys made or that you guys just recorded like a Minecraft video I'm gonna drag in a picture and I'll see you guys when everything is you know dragged in a few moments later all right guys so as you guys can see I dragged in picture of Minecraft and I'm just gonna now drag in the intro of this video to use it as a face cam so that is what I'm gonna do right now make sure that you record your face cam with something else than, than OBS that's the bad thing you can record your game with OBS please use another program for capturing your face cam your face cam and your gameplay has to be two separate videos you don't want to have like your face cam already in the screen recorded because then you, you you're not able to edit that make sure that you record in like both clips um, like in a different program so once you've done that you will actually ha automatically have a track only of your face cam so I'm gonna try that in right now all right everyone so as you guys can see we have two tracks which one is the face cam track at the top and our new game underneath it the next thing you want to do to make this round like like from a square to round you want to use a sony cookie cutter so i'm going to go to this effects button this one and i'm going to pick sony cookie cutter in this list this one sony cookie cutter you want to click on add okay boom boom as you guys can see i just have a round face cam it's that freaking simple guys so what you can do actually is you can change like you know the shapes as you can see i can have a circle i can have, i can have i can have like an oval kind of shape i can have like an like an oval that's going like up i can have like a rectangle i can have like a square like turned i can have like a normal square as you can see and i I can use like like a triangle triangles all you know um like tilt to different sides and as you can see just arrows and stuff so basically let's say, let's say you want to have like a nice square one like this you can also customize it and you can do this with all you know templates you can add a little feather like you can like make the like the edges like fade if that's something you like you can also add a border to it like a nice you know like a like a border that's really nice as well you can you can do it like this if you want to i mean you can do everything with it and then of course the size you can you can select how big you you want the face cam to be as you guys can see like i think this would be great so let's say once you've selected everything you like i'm going to go back to a circle that looks really good basically to have this one in the corner it's really simple you just want to click on this white icon of the uh, face cam track like this boom and you see this window popping up and what you want to do is you want to you know, like go to this and you want to drag it smaller and as you can see the face cam is getting you know smaller as well and i'm going to drag this one into the corner let's say like this this looks great so i'm gonna see how it looks right now so i'm just gonna close out this window and just imagine that you know the picture is just like a moving like just like a actual video and as you guys can see i'm just talking around and i'm looking like as you can see i'm just talking and doing my intros and stuff so that is basically how you can get around or like a square or rectangle face cam guys it's that freaking simple this is like a really requested you know video like how to make a round face cam or like a square one or oval um, so I would say here you go. So that is basically how you make a round or square or any format like any shape you want of a face cam. That's as easy it is, guys. You just want to use the, you just want to use the Sony cookie cutter. If you find this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button down below. Also subscribe for more videos. Actually, every single day, two videos a day. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow for two videos of reacting to a video from subscribers. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so the first thing is that you don't want to do in your car playing around with your cell phone. Drop comments down below and I'll be more happy to make a video about it. My own clothing line through the description down below. Even if you're not a subscriber correctly and quickly, Twitter and verification process, you can find a link down below. I'm done with this kind of shit. Opportunity is there. As long as you guys keep watching my videos, I will keep making them.